Mortal Kombat 1 has been out for just over one month now, and I think it's time to go over the great, the good, the bad, and the ugly to give you a really good idea of where the game now stands one month later. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's go ahead and get into this one month review. In no particular order, I'm just gonna go over the features and the mechanics of the game to help it stand out both with good and the bad. And again, just to give you a really good idea of where the game now stands and what you might or might not like about it. Mortal Kombat 1 was stated to not be a direct sequel to Mortal Kombat 11, but it totally is. The story, though phenomenal, it is a it is definitely a direct sequel to Mortal Kombat 11. It picks up from the events of Mortal Kombat 11, meaning Liu Kang is now the, the protector of Earthrealm, the keeper of time, and kind of goes off the new era the new timeline story arc and it is amazing graphics are phenomenal and the game's story the story has been told in an amazing way to really help you feel emotion for the characters and what's going on you feel invested into the story a lot of cool callbacks no spoilers but there's a lot of cool callbacks to previous storylines and previous games and the ending was just a mind blower it was just so much fun to play it's a really good story it takes about five to six hours to complete but the story is a really big plus when it comes to mortal kombat 1 another great thing about mortal kombat 1 one is the game mode called Invasions. Invasions in Mortal Kombat 1 is kind of like the Crypt and or Towers of Time from Mortal Kombat 11, where you go and you have secret fights and those fights might have modifiers, though a lot of the times those modifiers are just super armor, making the opponent kind of annoying to fight because they just get armor through everything. But doing these fights and finding the secrets is a good way to unlock items, unlock cosmetics, brutalities and such. You can choose your character, you can choose your cameo, you can choose a talisman to give you power-ups, you can choose a relic to also give you power-ups. You can increase your own stats how you wish. Do you want to put your stats into health, attack, special, defense, or agility? It makes it feel really custom to you and how you want to play, and I really like that. Plus, if you change your character and or cameo along the way, you can start unlocking stuff for that cameo or for that character, like other color palettes or brutalities. That's what I mean when I say it's kind of like the crypt, right? You're going to go through this and unlock certain stuff or certain characters. You're going to find secret treasure chests, and you're going to find stuff like Test Your Might here, and this is just a great way to help mix it up and not feel like all the same fight over and over again. So though Invasions is a ton of fun, it's about six to seven weeks long, I think they said, per season. And the new seasons do bring in new invasions. They do bring in new messes, which is the new map, new fights, new cosmetics, and so on. That's great. So the seasons will keep you occupied for seasons to come. The only problem is if you're a grinder like me and you just love grinding out the seasons, you're going to beat this current season in a matter of just a couple of days. So I wish there was a bit more to it, but for what you get, it's pretty cool. The roster in Mortal Kombat 1 is one of the biggest notable factors of the game itself. And it's got so many amazing characters and including a lot of returning old style 3D era characters we haven't seen in over a decade, such as Reiko, Ashra, and Natara are back. We're even getting Havoc and they're so cool and so much fun to play. Every character has such unique gameplay styles. You wanna play a big brawler character, play Xiao. You wanna play a mix up game and get in your face, play Smoke. You wanna play setup and traps, play Rain. There are just so many different ways to play the game and I love it. Not only that, but one of the best, if not the best mechanic about Mortal Kombat 1 and what makes it probably the most unique fighting game you've seen in quite a while is of course the cameo system now what are cameos for those that don't know cameos are kind of like assist fighters you can call in during the fight they're basically just extra special moves you give to your own character though you have an animation where scorpion might come out and do the move scorpion's not gonna actually fight for you you're just getting an extra special move from scorpion as a cameo for an example now that's cool because for those that don't know in mortal kombat 11 you had to choose which special moves you wanted and in doing so that that means you had to get rid of other special moves or not be able to use those ones. Whereas in Mortal Kombat 1, in this game, you have a base character. So if when I choose a cameo, whatever cameo I choose, whether it be, you know, Sonya, Kano, or Scorpion, I'm not taken away from Raiden's moveset. I'm just adding to it. I can add whatever I want. And those cameos are available to any player. So any player can choose Scorpion, can choose Darius, can choose Striker. You're just choosing what cameo best fits my play style or improves your character's strengths or helps with their weaknesses. Raiden doesn't have a ton of overheads and Scorpion as a cameo offers a great overhead option so I like to use Scorpion for that reason and you can do some crazy stuff man look at this combo we're doing with Scorpion we can do a combo then call him in to extend it and keep going from there the cameo system is not only great just for combo extension or damage but a lot of cameos offer utility which is huge in a fighting game so for an example we have Sub-Zero here Sub-Zero's normal cameo move puts us covered in ice basically what this does for us this allows us to be projectile and vulnerable so if you're fighting an opponent that just wants to zone you out and shoot stuff at you just use sub-zero none of those projectiles are going to hurt you now so you're just like okay i nothing's going to touch me now so i'm just going to rush in and do a combo it's just a great utility to have when you fight an opponent that wants to zone you out we also have combo extension of course we can freeze our opponent and go from there 
Cameo Scorpion offers a full screen reset pullback armored move that allows you to kind of reset the stage and decide the spacing in the match. Mataro offers a teleport and a projectile reflect. Again, none of these are damaged. They're just awesome tools to have in a move set. Cameo Kung Lao also offers a teleport for mobility, a low projectile for those that might not have a projectile. Serena can drain your opponent's meter and that can be huge in a fight. Frost offers some awesome pressure with her Frieza Orb. You get the idea. There are just so many ways to play not only your character, but then your character with other characters. Cameos. So whether you play Scorpion or whether you play a Raiden, if you have different cameos, now you're mixing it up every single fight, making every fight feel different and new and fresh. It takes a little bit to get used to, but man, the cameo system, there's gonna be some haters for it, but it's really good and really well done. The customization in Mortal Kombat 1 is awesome. Look at our Scorpion here. Look at our Sub-Zero here. Our Raiden even looks freaking, we got face tattoos on Raiden. How cool is that? Every character has a gear piece, which you can go through and customize the gears that you want. Every character has multiple skins and every skin has palettes as well. So we can choose what color palette do we want with our skin as you can see multiple ways to customize your character you can even customize your favorite cameo fighter to be fair a lot of time they're just palettes but still it's pretty cool that you can change the color of your cameo of course as a fighting you have local couch co-op where you can fight your friends at home as of right now again as of this recording this is one month later this definitely could change and probably will change in the future but as of right now there are very few options to play online and what i mean by that is right now we only have combat league which is ranked online you can do casual versus and casual king of the hill cool and then private matches but the problem with private matches is mortal kombat 1 doesn't have a cross play as of this moment so if i'm on playstation which i am i can only play with other playstation peeps and not only that but even without cross play there's no way to set up a room and give somebody a room id and say hey join my room it's you know the, the room id is 0011 and come join me and there's like 10 slots and we'll just kind of walk around and fight each other as we wish you don't have rooms you have just private 1v1s and not only that but as of right now you have to be a playstation friends to even play together so if you wanted to play with somebody or whatever you have to be friends with them and that can be kind of weird for those that don't want to maybe add a friend but still want to play with somebody online the things that i think need to be added make this way better and of course a better online experience that i know are probably coming in the future are of course dedicated online rooms and lobbies and of course cross play that way you can play with whoever whenever however not only that but i wish there was a way to kind of decline those that have wi-fi because online fighting games wi-fi warriors can be kind of hard to fight just because of the lag and as of right now there's no way to decide that you if you play combat league and your opponent has wi-fi you have to accept that fight and if you lose because of the lag well that sucks to be you i guess so i wish there was a way to like decide and filter out the wi-fi warriors because as of right now i just hate fighting wi-fi players again we might be getting this in the future but as of right now it's just not a feature practice mode is always fun but there are some features i wish it had they're getting better adding notes to the moves you see here cancelable on hit into jump this wasn't there when the game first came out so they're adding notes more and more i wish there was more and more notes though same with the special moves okay the note here is it costs one bar of super meter to enhance well duh yeah i know that what other properties change about this move the notes aren't very specific and or good in the training mode or, the, or at least in the move set list i wish that was a bit better overall mortal kombat 1 is easily one of the best looking mortal kombats if you forget about the switch port which we sure do here cameos allow you to pick moves you can bring to the fight and of course not lose on your base character you get actual costumes instead of mix and match costume pieces with the exception of the gear piece of course and you get some good frame data in the move list the cons i'll tell you right now invasions could be a little bit better i feel like maybe a little bit more added to it we need a lot more online options and better online stability and i'm not gonna lie to you as of right now there is a pretty big meta when it comes to characters like raiden baraka melina johnny kenshi smoke and others i think there definitely needs to be some kind of character tweaks and balances to really help out balance the entire roster overall i absolutely love mortal kombat 1 but i'll tell you right now i feel like it's kind of just a giant glorified beta a really good beta i'll tell you that i just i feel like there should have been more to the game especially at launch especially one month later there just i feel like needs to be a bit more to the game to really make me feel like okay my money was well worth spent and i feel satisfied as a customer it needs to have crossplay. we need to have better online options and better online stability we need to have more frequent and better balanced patches for the character Characters and the cameos. I feel like I want to have more to do than just play invasions or online. I would love to see some more game modes out there. I love Mortal Kombat 1. I can't really give it a rating, you know, 1 out of 10, but if I had to, I would say 6.57. It's got a really good base foundation, it has a lot of good things to build off of, but those things need to be built in order to make it a full on 10. These are just my thoughts, guys. Let me know down below what do you think of Mortal Kombat 1 if you've played it. If you haven't played it, are you gonna? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more. Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.